Hello internet people and welcome to Vlogmas day 14. Today is Monday and it's been kind of a slow start to the day. Uh, my husband and I and the cat all woke up at about 11.30 this morning. We stayed up late last night Christmas shopping and so we slept in. And uh, the reason we were able to sleep in is because today is my husband's first day off for the rest of the year. He's done with work for this year and so he could sleep in, which means I can sleep in. And what makes that even more exciting is the fact that he doesn't need to be up in this loft anymore. He's up here working um, during regular business hours, Monday through Friday, and so I don't sew during those times unless I can convince him to work downstairs and then I can come up. But most of the time, this is his space um, and my sewing space is secondary to that. Um, but since he doesn't need to work anymore, I get the space all to myself for the whole rest of the year. So I decided that today I'd come up here and clean up a little bit and start commandeering his desk for my sewing stuff. <laughs> and so I have quite a bit to clean up up here. It's kind of a mess from uh, sewing the Marlowe sweater. It's kind of a mess from the other day when I was testing the McCall 7974 thread. There's thread, there's scraps. Um, I have a bunch of patterns over here that need to be folded up and put away. So um, I figure I should take this opportunity to clean up, organize a little bit, and get ready for having this space all to myself for the next, I don't know, three weeks or something like that. Oh, I can't even imagine what that's going to be like. So anyways, so that is um, what we're doing today. I'm going to bring you along to clean up the space a little bit up here. Uh, let's open the advent calendar. I have it here. Day 14. Oh, I didn't show you yesterday's actually. I did yesterday's on my own. I'll show you. They said, eat, sleep, sew. Very cute. And number 14 one here. It says party dress. How cute. Maybe I'll use this for my holiday dress that I'm making, the McCall 7974. Those are really cute. Aw. Okay, so that's that. In other news, FedEx finally gave me my package. They finally stopped holding it hostage. This is the fabric for the hashtag I'm so festive challenge hosted by Simply Delilah and Kim Gaddy Sews. Um, I ordered a double brush polyester in a festive Christmas fabric. And the main idea for the challenge is to just use a novelty print fabric, something maybe holiday related, sew something up and it's just a very festive project. So I'm making the Pattern Scout Comfy Lounge set. I've already made it before. I made it in a uh, rust colored and white tie dye. And so um, let me show you that fabric. I have it here. I just finally opened it last night. It's cute, right? I thought it was pretty cute for a little Christmas, like a little Christmas lounge set, um, pajama set. Um, like I said, it's a double brush polyester and I'm just gonna give you my first impressions of this. Um, I think it's really low quality fabric. I don't think it's very nice at all. I've ordered double brush polyester from So So English many times. I have maybe three or four of their double brush polyesters. I've always been so happy with them, which is why I decided to order from them in the first place. I think they're pretty high quality. They're thick, they've held up, everything like that. But this, this is really thin. Um, it's very, very thin. When you stretch it, the color just washes out, which doesn't happen in my other double brush polyesters from them. There's also some dye inconsistencies. You see those like lines here along kind of the selvage, which isn't a huge deal, but combined with the fact that I think this fabric is really, really thin, it just kind of annoys me. Um, yeah, you could see that. They say on their website that if there are issues like that, they'll just like cut extra for you. So I haven't gone through and measured it to see how much they actually ended up giving me, but I'm not happy with it. And I kind of feel like I was gonna make basically a long sleeve top and a, and and pants. And I feel like, like, is this thing gonna hold up to the weight of a full length pant? Like, is it gonna stretch out? Is it gonna get weird and baggy? 
Um, is it gonna be completely see-through? I mean, that's not really a problem. I'm just gonna be wearing it around the house, but um, that's just, I don't know, it's just not quite what I was expecting. And so, I mean, I think it is a holiday project. I only really need it through the holidays and then I'll get put away for next year. So it's not like a huge deal, but I don't know. It's just kind of one of those things. I was really disappointed because I've been so happy with So So English and I love everything I've gotten from them. I find them to be like one of my go-to places for knit fabric and this it's not quite up to the quality. I might email them. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna quit chatting and get to the cleaning. <laughs> So here's my overflowing scrap box. I keep this box next to my machine here to put scraps and thread and uh, little pieces in. And I have kind of a system worked out where whatever project I'm working on, I keep all the fabric related to that, like all the off cuts, all the big pieces left over. I just keep it on the top and then I have easy access to it if I need uh, test swatches or practice scraps or whatever. Um, to test stitches or whatever I'm trying to do, it's there on the top. Now the system breaks down when you don't actually take those bigger pieces out and put them back in the fabric stash um, and then the box gets really full. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm gonna go through that now because I have a couple projects worth of bigger offcuts of fabric in here that's taking up space for like the little tiny ones. In case you're wondering what I do with all my fabric scraps, um, my county actually has a program for fabric recycling and textile recycling. You just drop it off at Goodwill and they'll recycle it into things like um, mattress, or not, not mattress, carpet pads um, and things like that. So it's a textile recycling program. So I really love that. I think that's a good, great way to use, uh, to get rid of your scraps in a useful place that's not in the landfill. Um, I definitely recommend checking out your county and seeing if they have a similar program um, for fabric recycling. So anyways, I'm gonna go through this now. Okay, probably doesn't look like it, but it's much cleaner, much more organized. I put away a bunch of patterns. I vacuumed up all the little threads everywhere and all the scraps and then the battery on the vacuum died. So it worked very hard to help me clean up, feeling refreshed and organized and ready to get on with my next projects. Okay, we have a new angle here. The ceiling fan behind me looks like little ears or something. Anyway, so while I was up here, I found my Christmas knitting project uh, that I sort of forgot about. I bought this red and white yarn to make uh, little knit ornament stockings. And um, it's a beginner pattern that I found on Pinterest. Apparently it's not as hard as knitting like a sock, which is something I don't know how to do. It's apparently beginner friendly. So I'm going to attempt to knit little stocking ornaments. Um, so I think I'm gonna get started on that tonight because the time is ticking for Christmas. The countdown is on. Okay, so that is all I have for you today. That is it for me today. I gotta do some Christmas shopping. It's almost six o'clock. Um, so I gotta do some Christmas shopping because I'm doing it all online or I'm planning to do it all online. And judging by how long it took me to get that package from FedEx, I better order everything soon so that it actually gets there in time. Okay, so I want to let you guys know that tomorrow there will not be a video from me. I am going to get uh, fillings done at the dentist and every time I get fillings done, they have to put so much of the numbing stuff in me that my face is like totally droopy for pretty much the whole day. And I don't wanna risk trying to like talk and like bite the side of my mouth and all that business. So. That's okay because we're halfway through Vlogmas and I actually need to take some time to plan the second half of Vlogmas or else I'm gonna get really, really behind here really fast and we don't need to add any more stress on top of everything else for December. So I'm gonna 
go to the dentist, and then I'm going to take some time to plan the second half of Vlogmas. So you won't see me here tomorrow, but you'll see me hopefully the next day after that. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you not tomorrow, but the day after for Vlogmas day 16. So we'll skip 15, and we'll see you on Vlog Vlogtober. Oh my gosh, okay. The I need a break. So we'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16.